In this code.org tutorial, you have a pet. Congrats! We're going to be diving into Sprite Lab, continuing to use our behaviors, those blocks of code that we can store items in, give the code a name, and use it later. Let's get going. This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Free play. Whoa, check out this cool pet. While reading the code below, ask yourself, how would you command the pet? Okay. Uh, what happens when the pet touches the ice cream? How about the pepper? How is the energy variable ooh, used? Can you check the pet's current energy value? Run the code and play with the pet when you're finished. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK here. Let me see if I can pull that up. Awesome. Let me hit run and see just to mess with it. Oh, yuck. Okay, and then I can move. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see what's going on. So when, oh, I make this variable energy and it's set to five. So energy, this word now equals the number five. It's similar to math. If you've ever seen, I don't know, x plus one equals three. Well, x plus one equals three. Well, what plus one equals three? Oh, two. So x would then be two. So energy now is five. Set the background to perk view. Cool. And we've seen this before. You make the sprites at their x and y location. That's where they start. Begin wandering. Yeah, that's moving around. And this is one of those functions or those magic things of code, a behavior. And it stores code inside where it's telling it to move around but we don't we can kind of get what's going on here without peeking in on it at this moment and then this says while up is pressed oh yeah this guy moves okay so we can move him around now when our character touches the ice cream change energy by one oh and i say yum energy ah yeah that's what i like ice cream gives me energy yuck energy reset oh it goes to zero oh no it goes to set energy to five. Oh, and do i start i start with an energy of five and I add one to it if I get the ice cream. But apparently I hate peppers, so I set it back to five if I eat a pepper. Oh, and if I click him, oh, it prints my energy. Oh, that's kind of cool. Cool. Well, let's make our own. All right. Now it's your turn to create your own virtual pet. Stand by giving, start by giving it a look. Cool. Okay, so we can click costumes, and we have a few options. They start us with a cat, or we can add a new one. Oh, yeah, 100% this dude. Okay, and it said we can edit it some, or we can draw our own. If you want to draw your own, you can always just click new and draw my own. I'm not going to do that, though, but you can see what I mean. Cool, so let's go ahead and I'm going to just edit it a bit. So I just want to mind up green eyes and some yellow teeth because he's a crazy monster. All right, coat. Now, okay, I got my costume. Edit the starting costume or add a new one. Change the sprite's costume in your code. Okay, make a new. Click, and I made this dude. Cool. Click run to see how your new pet looks. Okay. Run. Ta-da! Onward. Create events to make your pet move as com on command. Start by using the win. Okay, so that's going to be an event. Event. And I'll drop mine here. Okay, so that will be an action. And I'm not... I don't have a cat, so make sure you change that to yours. i got to change mine to mine. Repeat the above for all the directions. Okay, so I'll say five, and we'll see what that does. And then another event, and I'm going to go ahead and drag all these out. Oh, event, event, right? So, boom, okay. And now I need to get the actions. And so what this is tell going to tell the computer is when I hit run, automatically this guy's drawn. He already appears there, but when I hit run, that stuff is going to happen automatically. And then wall down is pressed, and I got to make sure to pick my sprite, pick my character, because the computer won't know who I'm talking about if I don't. Um, when down is pressed, I need to go south, of course. When left is pressed, west, and then when right is pressed. And I could try changing these. Let's see how fast they are, though. Oh, I missed one. Let's see the other directions. Cool. And I'm liking that speed. Onward. Ooh, now what do you have? Let's make some wandering food. Add two sprites to your world. Make one sprite look like your pets like to eat, and the other one that it doesn't. Okay, two more sprites, so I'm headed to costumes, and boop. And actually, you can, uh, it might throw you off if you have it elsewhere. You can always get rid of stuff you're not using. What does my sprite like to eat? Ooh, that looks bad. Okay, my sprite doesn't want to eat that, but my sprite does want to eat. And keep in mind, Sprite's just a name for a character. Oh, yeah, my Sprite definitely wants to eat one of these. Yum. Okay, and I can edit this. So maybe since my dude has some green, 
I might turn this to a red skull, and you can add your own flair. Oh, no. Hopefully you're a better artist than I am. Oh, that looks tiny. And I like that one as is. Maybe I'll just make the top, I don't know, yellow. But, uh, okay. So there's mine. Now, make each sprite begin wandering behavior immediately after it appears. So I need to add it to my win run. I'm going to move this out of the way so I have a bit of room. And then... And then I need to add that one and this one. And it's going to start random, so I'm fine with that. But I need to make them wander. Ah. So to make these wander... So if it's as soon immediately after it appears, well, here's when, what makes it appear. So immediately after, if I need it to wander right away, I would attach the block here. Not stops. Begins, and then behavior. Do they have wandering here? Yep. And these are like functions, which we'll learn more about eventually. These behaviors, they actually secretly run this code inside. It's a really nice way to kind of tidy up a program to have these. But regardless... Um, I'm going to have that go, and then that go. All right, let's see. Oh, yep, there are a wandering. Ah! <laughs> Onward. Okay. Use... Okay, so we need to use the win and then touches, and we'll make the food jump to somewhere else. All righty. So that would be an event. Nope. Yep. And I'm going to say here... Is this better? Win my main character touches that and then i'm also going to do another one of these when the player touches the bad food and then what do i want to do it says jump so when i get that that will jump to a random location and when i get this they'll jump to random locations oh yeah cool onward Okay, so now we need to set energy. Set the variable energy to 5 when the program starts. Okay, so what would this be? Logic? Variables, I think. We're going to have a variable. Oh, and they already made it here. Energy, and I've set it equal to 5. When your pet eats food it likes, add 1 to energy. Okay, well, let me go to my food that it likes, which is here. I'll move this out so it's easier to see. So when it touches it is when it's going to eat it. So I'll say variable. Ooh, change energy by 1. And I'm going to assume it will go up by 1 because this is positive. When your pet eats food it doesn't like, set energy back to 5. Okay, variable. Ooh, set. So instead of change, I'm going to use set, because we're resetting it to the starting value, which is 5. Cool. Okay. When your pet doesn't eat, your pet eats food it doesn't like, yep, change the each arrow key event so that your pet now moves energy pixels instead of a specific number. Ooh. So the speed is going to be how much energy I have. So now my variable starts energy is equal to 5. The lowest it will ever be is 5. That's when I get the bad food. But I can increase it every time I get some, the good food. My energy goes up by 1. So they want me, and instead of using a number here, to use that variable. Cool. I'll definitely do that. So every time I hit an arrow key now, I'm asking the computer to say, hey, what's energy currently equal? It starts equal to 5, but maybe I got two of the good foods. So then I can move at a speed of 7. Cool. So the computer just knows to look for what that is equal to, the word energy, which again, up here I make it 5, but it can change as they play the game. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I was faster. Yeah. Yeah. Look how fast I am. <laughs> cool. Onward. You can check your pet's energy value with the pr print found in world category. Okay, we want print to be printed when the we click our Sprite, so events, I think. Yep, when clicked. Now, what do I want to click? This. And then it says in world. So anytime I click on our sprite, I'm going to print. And then what am I going to print? Let's see. Was there one? Oh, yeah. Print energy. That's the one I want. Cool. So let's try this out now. So I should have five. Now what should I have? Five. Get the good one. <gasps> And these white boxes are appearing over it because that's the, it printing something. Yeah, that's awesome. Onward. Free play, virtually awesome. What can you do? Try these ideas. Oh, I'm going to do all of them. So change the background color to an image. Okay, world. I saw this and I think set background. Ooh, a city. Let me speed through this and then I'll explain what I got. All right, let me take a look at all that I've done to show you. 
I'm going to zoom out a bit because it's a lot less. Okay, so here it is. Here's my character's movement. When the character touches the coin, I make this coin jitter. I should also probably make the coin go somewhere else. So I'll put this in front of it and make the coin jump somewhere random. Okay, but anyways, that's my extra. That's my new sprite, and it will jump, and then it will also jitter if the character hits it. What else did I add? I added age as a variable. I set my background color to a galaxy. Age is set to 1, and what increases age is if I hit this my bad thing, age by 1. I increase it by 1. Now when I print stuff, I'll print out energy and age. I also said this, st when I get the good thing, my coin will stop jittering. Mm, but that might make it stop wondering. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, but a ton of stuff. And obviously you can build on this. But I got a variable, another sprite. I got another background. And I have an awesome game. I hope yours is really cool too. Onward.